Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. So as you can see by this title, this is going to be a, something a bit different. Now there's a lot of, uh, how should I say, reasons why Fortnite is dying videos going on, right? And I see a common theme with each one of these things and it's all coming from like a really good player's perspective about why this game is dying and I'm going to I'm going to make this same video but I'm going to tell you coming from my perspective. So I'm going to just start off right now saying I am not a good player by any means. I got my first win on the 11th of February. Yeah, my first ever win. I've been playing since season 2. And I got my first win uh yeah on the 11th of february so as you can see i'm not i'm not a good player but i want to this like reoccurring theme about fortnite catering to casuals let me explain something to you right now you as competitive players you're the minority okay i'm not saying casual should be catered to or anything but you are the minority I don't care if you can drop a 30 bomb game. That does not mean that you should be valued any more than any other consumer. Because just like you're a consumer and you're playing Fortnite and buying skins, other people are too. So you in no way, shape, or form should be the only one catered to. The issue is Fortnite doesn't know who to listen to. Like, Epic Games doesn't know who to listen to. They listen to the noobs and we get the spray and pray meta who and me as a bad player I couldn't stand that either. We listen to the competitive players then we get this this what's going on and what's killing the game that no competitive player will ever admit is sweaty players. It is a joke how sweaty Fortnite is right now. I don't care what side of the spectrum you're on. I don't care how many kills you can get in the game. I don't care how many wins you have. Sweaty players are ruining this game. People played Fortnite because it was this chill game, and everyone and their mom was like, oh, what the heck's going on with this game? So they would hop on, and they would play with friends, and they realized this this is really fun. Not just because you could sit in a bush and wait for wins. Not just because it was pretty cartoony compared to PUBG, but because it was casual. It was chill. It wasn't like PUBG. PUBG was a sweat fest. I mean, anyone who had who like played PUBG first and then went to Fortnite can tell you with they can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that game was a sweat fest. And I'll tell you what happens when you cater to sweat fest, your game dies quick. Okay? There's there's no arguing that. When you cater to a freaking competitive to the competitive side of gamers, your game dies quick because at the end of the day, no one plays games because they want to sweat every single second of that game. They play because they want to chill and relax, play with their friends, have fun. They don't want to sweat. And I don't understand why competitive players don't see that. They're saying the noobs are ruining Fortnite when all I see on videos are people in the comments talking about sweaty soccer skins. You know, everyone's trying to be like Ninja. Everyone's trying to be a new Tifu or something. And that's another thing. When two of the most well-known popular players for being decent and things like that say that this game's getting sweaty, it's kind of ridiculous that no one in like these typical Fortnite is dying videos will own up to that. No one will admit that. You know why? Because at the end of the day, they're doing this. They're they're doing the uh, simple, uh, good old, hey, I'm on this side of the spectrum, so I'm right. And if you're on this side of the, or the other side of the spectrum, you're wrong. That's that's the most annoying thing that I think I can ever hear watching these stupid Fortnite is dying videos. It's all about this guy on one side of the spectrum or this other guy on the other side of the spectrum. I'm a bad player, as many people will say. I got my first win, like I said, on the 11th. The 11th. 
That was my first ever win. But guess what? I don't want to be catered to. I, I know I'm a casual player. I don't want to be catered to. Nor do I think that a good player should be catered to because now we have this situation that's going on where everyone and their mom is just building their butts off. I mean, 400 plus mats on one guy. One guy. Game just starts. This guy's immediately hitting some wood because he says, well, it's time to get busy. And they're just building five-star hotels. It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. Even at times where you know for a fact that you can delete that guy, you're sweating your butt off. You've got to make 87 90s and be five floors up before you even engage the guy. And like I said, I don't want to be catered to. The issue, the issue with Epic Games right now is they're, they've listened to both sides. And they've, they've been essentially yelled at both ways. They listened to the, to the really competitive players. They, ga- they gave them what they want. Guess what happens? People still leave the game. They listen to the new players. We get the freaking SMG spray and pray. Guess what happens? People still leave the game. No one is satisfied when you listen to one side. And I'm not yelling at Epic here. It's for it's the community's fault. This isn't Epic's fault. This is the community's fault. Because the most notable players, the most notable players and the people who like who have like a hundred plus or a mil sub- subscribers feel like it is their responsibility to dictate how this game should be. Oh, you're just a bad player. You're like the whole like get good thing is oh my gosh i understand that if someone isn't is relatively not good at a game their argument is going to come up come from i'm not good so do something so that i can be better but when you're making it seem as if this person now cannot contribute anything anything to an argument simply because of a skill level that that that's ridiculous That's absolutely ridiculous. So because I'm bad, I'm all of a sudden not a part of the community. Because I'm bad, because I'm not building 2790s in three seconds, I I can't contribute anything to the game. I I don't, I shouldn't have a say so. You see how like just dog crap that little argument is that from these pro players? Oh, you're not good. So you need to just get good. Oh, I bet you don't have a single win. Like, so what if these players don't have wins? So what if they can't drop 20 kill games? You're telling me that their argument is now inferior to yours? Their argument, they can't contribute anything to the argument. They're not a part of the game, essentially. That's what you're, that's basically what you're saying. Because if you're fine with with the competitive player being catered to, I mean, you just... You're not trying to look at it from the casual player's perspective. I don't want to sweat every five seconds. Right now, solos is nothing but 90s, 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 trap enemies and spam spike traps. Like, I mean, I find it easier to get kills in duos, and I'm bad, essentially, as many people love to say. If I can get more kills in duos and I'm a bad player, just think about that for a moment. Think about just how bad that is. Coming from a bad player saying that they can get more kills in a mode where people have teammates. Fortnite is not dying because of the new player. Fortnite is not dying because of the competitive player. It's dying from both. It's dying because Epic Games has now went from I've tried to listen to the noob, I've tried to listen to the competitive, and people are still not satisfied. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to find middle ground, I'm just going to, I'm just going to just listen to like the competitive players now. Because you know, they're, they, they're the ones who are making us money, they're the ones with the esports, they're the ones with the big YouTube channels that give us all this publicity. So I'm just going to listen to these guys now. And you're probably like, oh, but TCD, that's not true. That's not true. They have they have items that help, you know, bad players and things like that. And that's not what this is about. What this is about is the fact that look at how many modes there are 
for like competitive players. I mean, we have an entire like news section talking about esports and crap all the time, right? Do you ever really see anything like for just players who just want to chill? Players who just want to just play it like the good old days, like the season two, the season three days. We don't have anything. There's there's nothing for us. We just have to go and get online and sweat. Just a fat chair stain of sweat. We just get up and we turn around and there's sweat. And as much as we're sweating, some freaking 20, 20 plus year old man is in a freaking streamer room right now with streaming with probably one guy watching sweating his butt off dropping 30 kill games and stuff and apparently that's that's what that's that's what epic's going with now we're not fortnite's not dying because of competitive players fortnite's not dying because of noobs it's dying because of a lack of mid ground that's what the problem is and right now I guess it's just like, hey, the noobs had their day with the spray and pray, so now the competitives have their day with the sweaty building. My gosh. I know that's a bit of a rant, and I don't usually cover Fortnite, but I'm so sick of hearing this argument, guys. I'm so sick of hearing that argument. I'm going to post in a poll right now. What do you think's the cause? Do you think it's because they're catering to the noob or the competitive or there's a lack of a mid-ground? Like I said, I'm a bad player, so if you think that your argument is somehow better than me, please tell me in the comments because of your skill. I just want to take this time to direct you to the end cards that are probably on this video as I speak. Please take the time to look at a previous video or a playlist if it does, does, does indeed happen to be there. As always, rate the video what you think it deserves. Tell me what you would like to see in the future in the comments below. And I will see all of you in the next video. Take care.